Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. We just received another dev preview. It seems like it's literally gonna be every single week until the update launches that we're gonna get a little sneak peek. And this time, it's all about the UV evidence, which is actually getting a complete rework in a really cool way. Uh, also, if I look tired, that's because I am shouldn't have been up at 4 a.m. playing Outlast Trials. By the way, we're playing some Outlast Trials right now live on stream. If you wanna join us, you're very welcome to. But anyway, let's hop into the dev preview. Welcome back. We've got some news for you. Ultraviolet, so they're renaming it. Fingerprints have been one of the more reliable evidence types in Phasmophobia, but we felt it could have a few things adjusted to make it feel more immersive. More fun in certain scenarios. We're looking at you, High School Gym. High School Gym is fine, honestly, because you can just get the ghost to hunt and touch other doors. But anyway, I get what you mean. And more interactive. Firstly, we've renamed fingerprints to Ultraviolet. The main reason was to address getting fingerprints in some of the more open areas that are really frustrating for players if your ghost refused to move somewhere with doors or other interactables you might never get that evidence very true to remedy this if a ghost steps into a salt pile it will now only show footprints if it has ultraviolet evidence this is like one of those like often asked questions like i see it on the reddit all the time people asking like uh, if i get footprints does that mean it's also fingerprints which that question seems silly in one aspect if you're like super familiar with phasma you're like why why of course not it's not it's footprints, not fingerprints, but it is like showing UV evidence. And the devs seem to agree. So yeah, they're they're going to change it completely. And now footprints are gonna be UV evidence as well. Next, we found that taking uh Wait, non-ultraviolet ghosts will step in the salt pile and will give you the initial photo and wraiths will never step in the salt pile at all. So you will only get one salt photo from the from non-UV ghosts. Next, we found t that taking photos of fingerprints and footprints never made much sense. You would see the print with your UV light, put it away, and then proceed to take a photo of nothing. Absolutely true. With Progression 2.0, we've added UV charging. When shining a UV light onto fingerprints or footprints, you will see it straight away, but additionally, the light will charge up the print. After putting your UV light away, the print will stay visible for a short period, depending on how long you charge it for, allowing you to take a photo. That is super cool. I love this idea. I was like, how are they ever going to change this? But this is a genius idea on how to do that. So yeah, it's going to make getting like lots of footprint photos really quickly, much harder because you're gonna have to charge them. Uh, but yeah, you're now be gonna be able to charge the photos and actually take a photo of UV instead of, of an empty door, which means no more taking a photo of a door to check for fingerprints. That's gonna be completely gone now. All right, so now going over all the tiers. Tier one is the glow stick. Oh, interesting. So the glow stick is now going to be part of the UV light. Tier one is the glow stick. After snapping it to turn it on, it projects a short range area that lasts around one minute before dimming. There's so many stars, by the way. Let me quickly check. What are all of this? Salt piles will also be getting some neat new features, which you'll have to wait and see for yourself soon. What could they be? What in the heck could salt... So maybe different types of finger footprints, something like that, like an ability with footprints. Uh, and then this also figure fixes the major issue of trying to sell off your blank photos to ghost onto distribution and expecting reasonable payment. So yeah, no more taking photos. As, as I said, no more taking photos of, of empty doors. Um, you can always give it another shake to give it some extra life. That's so cool. So you're gonna have like, uh, you can shake it again to activate your glow stick once again. Uh, and then tier two is the UV light uh, that we have right now with a brighter and longer range narrow spotlight boasting a much faster UV charging time. So yeah, you can see right here, it's charged the fingerprints and then they slowly fade away that's really cool the you the glow stick is actually really good because you can also just drop that on the ground and continue charging the fingerprints for photos honestly the tier one glow stick might be the best for taking photos i might just be taking the, the tier one honestly this seems really really good you get a ghost to step in this uh, step in the salt you'll just throw down your 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 glow stick on the ground and you take all the photos that actually seems like with for photos the glow stick is the best and and then here you can charge this so this one is better charging and then tier three is the uv light pro a chunky flashlight that has a much brighter and wider cone of light as well as an even quicker charge time perfect for locating ultraviolet evidence quickly on a larger scale okay so that one could also be you could throw that down pointing at the salt pile to also charge up quickly but yeah that's it it was a pretty it was a bit of a short preview just showing the uv evidence uh, i think it's a really cool change I, I i was like what are they gonna do with uv but that's clever it seems like literally every single you evidence in the game is 
getting like a slight rework so yeah let me know what you think of this once again if you want to join us live right now uh, link is in the description down below or in the pinned comment thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join us you know where to find us anyway see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs>